Okay, year 10. So the second drawing that I'd like you to do is um, the biro drawing. So that is of the coffee cup. Um, so we're going to sketch it out initially, and then we will then be applying biro drawing in the same kind of similar style as the tone drawing with the cross hatching. So again, A4 please on a separate piece of paper and start just to look at the curves and the kind of ellipses within the basic shape all right so we'll just get the portions correct to start with so we're gonna just if i get that top ellipses just bring in that out around here it comes down curves and then you've got that other bit yeah so it's just almost getting the lid shape roughly in now i can see already there's some mistakes in that but i'm just getting it so i can just get that <coughs> excuse me that first initial kind of proportion shape okay and then i can curve it around there so shore it up there because i'm confident with those two lines which kind of come maybe make that base a little bit wider so it just comes off and around there and then i'm just here so you can see the lid comes out at kind of a funny kind of little angle it's not straight so if we kind of get those pieces into there and then I can then shore up and curve that one in. And then again, that will still curve round the cup. So I just need to make sure these pieces are all clearly going over and around. So they're going around. So you can see that's going around and that one in there is in that. So you need to make sure that that line goes behind this one here to show that it's going around the top of the cup, all right? And then again on the top, it's almost angled a little bit towards you so you can see more of the lid than if it was kind of straight um, top of it. Um, so, it makes, so if you only see the front, but because we can see we're kind of always looking at a kind of a slight angle down, we can see more of the top, which means then that this here, we're gonna have it brought into round in here and then that bit there to show that that goes in there. And again, the drinking hole. And again, that bit in there to show we understand that bit into there. Okay, so you just want that initial kind of coffee cup shape and shored up as much as you can. Then we need to do the same with the um, coffee cup um, label coffee cup lid thing i can't can't i can't get my words today it's a nightmare please excuse me and then you can then put that in and again it's not just stops there it's not a something that's on the coffee cup it goes around so you need to make sure again you have that little bit that comes up and it's a little bit wider than the coffee cup itself all right and it's those little bits that make you realize that it's the sleeve that's the word i'm after sleeve for the coffee cup all right, and then you can rub out that line that goes through it, just to make sure it's really clear to you when you add your biro, which lines you are following. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna make sure that's clear, so I don't get confused. And then bring those on there. Okay, so again, making sure that they are wider than the coffee cup. And just shoring it up so that when you come to add your biro, you know which lines you are following. Okay, so you can see I've got my sleeve that goes on there and on around the coffee cup itself. Then um, I can just quickly do a little sketch roughly of where my coffee bean's going to go. So I'm going to have my little bit into there bit into there and then that just brings it out a bit more and around in there okay so i can just have my little coffee bean into there now when you come to add your biro we're going to do it in the same cross hatching now you can do it in biro or you can do it in a thin black pen if you do it in a thin black pen and you want to add tea stains like we did on the tonal version you're going to want to add the tea stains now and then add the black pen on top because that will make the black pen run whereas with the biro it shouldn't do 
okay so just be aware of that and think ahead okay so with your biro all right it's just gonna let's go to the next one the depth, okay so it's just about then being confident with your lines i don't really want to see any lines where people are just doing this outlining it you've got to have that confident line and it's with your biro, obviously, it's one tone. So with the pencil, we could add different tones within our cross hatching with how light or dark we um, pressed. With a biro, it's going to be all about how th um, thick you do cross hatching, how many times you go over it, um, that will then create your tone. And it's also, again, the same way of making sure your cross hatching goes kind of almost in the direction to emphasize that shape. So my initial thing is I'm just going to outline my coffee cup so I know where everything is. Now I know in here it's going to be really dark so I'm going to start and put those bits in there and I'm just going to bring in a few lines either way there just to show that I know that it's going to be dark and just that light bit into there. The same bit underneath here and curved in around here. So again with my lines I'm making my lines help and emphasize the shape of my coffee cup. So you can see I'm curving to show that that curves around. All right, my lines are gonna help emphasize that 3D element. I'm just gonna put in a bit of detail into there. Bring that into there. And just kind of start to add in my, coffee, my um, few of my lines in here, just to show that I understand that it's gonna be darker. This end in here. All right. What you do have to make sure is that you're confident with your lines, but you're not getting messy with your cross hatching. What we do often see is that, say, for example, this is here, a lot of people just kind of almost do and they get really messy or they're like this one way, then this over the top and you're bringing it. And it's a real messy kind of cross hatching. Your, your lines have to almost help and show and emphasize the shape. So each line you put down, you have to have it for a purpose and a reason. And you don't, you can't then go all I'll kind of scribble over it and it'll be fine. You just really think about, so my lines this way, I'm curving it, and then I'm doing lines the opposite, kind of at a diagonal, to then show that um, it's kind of darker and shown in that tone. Okay, so then I'm just going to bring this in around in here. Like so, so I'm just going to outline it in here. And it's okay as well to leave some areas white. Don't think that the whole thing has to be filled with um, cross hatching. All right, it's your lines are going to help show the tone. And sometimes less is more with it. And I'm okay with that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to bring in those lines in there because obviously it's darker to lighter this way. And you can see it's much darker here, so the light is obviously coming this way. So I'm going to put all those darker areas in. So bring in those bits, curving my lines, bring in those in here, and again around here. And it's about leaving some of those kind of white areas for those little bit of highlights. Do you see how I've just left that bit there? Kind of just leaving those, and again around in here. I'm just going to sketch it in now to help me remind myself that that bit there is going to be left. And I'm going to cross hatch all of these bits, leaving that bit to then kind of leave it and kind of have that highlight again to emphasize where it's going. And then I'm just going to have a few little lines curving round just to show that I understand that bit here is much lighter. So a few of those, and then again, lighter bits around in there. So you can see I've just started to work on here, and then again on the top, these would kind of be more flatter and curved round, and just bringing in that shape and around in there. So you can start to see how it's kind of working and how it's building up there, all right? Again, underneath here, that'd be that highlight. I'd come down here and then again here. So where we are curving, I'm going to do my vertical lines and then my curved cross hatched around this way to help kind of with that shape. So again, 
it's showing that and then a curved line to help show that it's um, a cylinder, but a long cylinder. All right. So it's again being confident with those lines and being OK with some areas being that little bit left open and knowing where it's going to be darker and where it's going to be lighter. All right. And that can be how close and how many or how few lines you put in. All right. OK, so again, see this bit in here around underneath the label all the way around will be that much thicker, darker line to show that's going in with those. Again, with the same in here, you're going to need that kind of darker line in here. All right. Again, your label is much lighter. So again, you can kind of use the outline and then start to bring those bits in here, kind of almost kind of be quite um, uh, can't, sorry, thicker, wider apart with your lines, just to show that you understand that it's much lighter and then that can be as a contrast to the cup itself. And then you go to your lovely little coffee bean here where you can get that lovely little texture of the coffee bean brought in, thinking about where those white light lines of highlights are. Just starting to bring it in together. All right, you can see, just bringing those bits into there, those bits around, cross hatching. So you've got that nice contrast from the outside. So you can just see my coffee bean starting just to coming out and around like that. Okay, all right. So again, underneath here, Finish this quick, quickly. Get that down. Might have some darker tones in that afterwards to emphasize and bring it up a bit. But then you can have then this again, your highlight on the edge, curved around, lengthways, make sure it's following the same as that one to make sure it's got that continuous feeling and that it's all one coffee cup. And then these ones bringing it around. All right, and those lines are the ones that are curved. So what I would like is that whole coffee cup then to be com um, completed in that kind of biro style, all right? And then again, like I said, just maybe add to look one little ring of tea, but if you are using a um, black ink kind of pen, do that if you want to, do that before because it may run it, okay? So what I would like then is you've got your biro drawing and then from the previous video, a tonal drawing, all right? Any issues, please let me know. Thank you very much, you tens.